Hey everybody, Mac to Monster here, back with Marvel Heroes. And we got patch 2.15, and so Nightcrawler has been released. And with his release, I will do his usual patch day release preview. So I only got his basic little costume there, that's him. He's got a couple swords on his back, it looks pretty cool. Not as cool as, of course, Ghost Rider, but still pretty good. His uh, stats actually start off pretty good. They don't go extremely high, which is kind of strange for strength. The fighting appears to go up kind of pretty good, though. So he's going to be fighting based. And he'll go up to Unearthly in fighting. And he'll go up to uh, Amazing in speed. Obviously, no energy. I guess he gets a little smarter. Uh, other than that, he's going to have some interesting skills. So I'm going to start off with the right, as usual. You get your Saber Swipe. Uh, this is kind of like uh, Wolverines and the basic melee. Uh, you sweep around yourself, and it's a small AoE. It doesn't hit too wide. Got my notes right here. Most of it looks like it carried over from test. I won't know until I hit 60. Um, if all the numbers carried over exactly. He's got a uh, basic attack basically in each tree. He's got swords, teleporting, and stealthing. Uh, so it's a very interesting uh, play style. And with the swords are really based on crit and uh, putting a dot on. So the swashbuckler there, it's just, you know, nice fast attacks uh, with some extra crit damage when you do crit. And uh, with the swords, when you get up high enough, you'll get this Master Swordsman, which puts uh, some crit rating on your sword abilities and a dot on every time you hit with the swords. So that's a pretty nice extra damage that comes along with them that you'll have to factor in when you look at your uh, sword abilities. He gets his x Slash, which uh, it hits a single target or a small area, basically twice for two swipes. Um, and that's meant to be like a spirit burner damage dealing ability. Um, stances which carry over for basically all trees are advancing guard which gives you damage, defense, and movement speed and heart seeking guard which gives you critical rating, dodge rating, and spirit per second. So uh, those are pretty interesting choices that you'll have there. He gets this flying saber, which is an interesting thing that is not tagged as a teleporting move because you do teleport. You basically throw the saber, it hits a lot of guys, and you teleport forward and catch the saber. Um, and then you get an execute ability, which is death blow, uh, which has a three second cooldown. Uh, not too bad of a spirit cost, and as the target gets hurt, you get more and more bonus damage. Moving over to the teleporting tree. Uh, this is where you're going to start to deal your damage anyways. You get Agile Strike, uh, which restores spirit as you uh, use it. It does punches and kicks and uh, uh, occasional teleport mixed in. It's not actually labeled as a teleport. The reason why that comes in handy is because teleports do do something. You also get a teleport right away, so you become a rusher immediately. You get this blink strike, and as you can see here, it is labeled as a teleport. Um, does pretty good. It works kind of like uh, bounce ability of other characters, but you actually bounce around and hit things. So it's kind of cool um, and kind of interesting because you're going to end up in a different location by the time you're done doing it. Um, you get this brimstone beat down. This will be your spirit burner on single targets or bosses because it does 40% extra damage to bosses, elites, and champions. Uh, high attack speed, good damage, low spirit cost because you're going to be doing it so much per second. Um, uh, very interesting, pretty good uh, beat down uh, ability. We get this one step ahead. When you use a teleport power, this is why that flag becomes important. You get a damage buff and a defense buff for four seconds. Uh, on test server, when you put points into it, that duration did not increase, unfortunately. Uh, Infernal Brimstone, this is an area teleport ability. Um, it's a point blank area effect. Basically, you blink up, 
and uh, drop down and lay out a whole bunch of gas. It's like a gas attack that basically puts a AOE on the ground that does damage twice per second for five seconds. Uh, you know, near basic dot ability like tear gas arrow for Hawkeye. Um, you know, nice ability again. Righteous Frenzy is the signature move for uh, Nightcrawler. Uh, it's a very interesting ability because you get to use it uh, five times within 15 seconds. And your damage rating and attack speed is increased for three seconds after you use it. And it does do a pretty decent damage. Remember, all these numbers are based on rank one. The cooldown never goes lower than 40 seconds as you put points into it. Uh, the damage does go up pretty decently. Uh, it gets really substantial. Uh, awesome little signature ability. And then over in Cunning Acrobat, we have Incredible Acrobatics. This will give you some movement speed, some dodge rating, and a chance to evade uh, attacks completely. A basic defensive move, you get that right away. We get the Shadow Mode. This puts you into stealth mode where... Oh, baby waking up, as usual. Where things can't see or attack you. Uh, you can get hit by AoE, so you got to keep that in mind. Um, the stealth duration is 5 seconds and you regenerate hit points. Wife's grabbing her. Um, it has a cooldown of 3 seconds, which means you can actually stay stealth for 5 seconds. If you use any kind of ability, besides walking around though, you will break the stealth. So that's something to keep in mind. The health regen doesn't get all that great. I think at 60 uh, naked and 20 ranks will get you 2,000 health over the 5 seconds. It's alright. Um, but, you know, it could be tied in with some things. And there is a tie-in skill for it. Um, flash and grab is one of the skills that everybody's talking about. Um, it's a very interesting skill. As you can see, there's no attack speed on it. It does physical damage and has a stun, and it also weakens enemies, so they deal less damage. It costs 20 spirit. As fast as you can hit the button, or if you hold down the button, um, it will just spam and drain your spirit, like, instantaneously. It's pretty fast. Uh, so it's an uh, interesting ability because it's a spam AoE. However, like I said, you will drain your spirit in a heartbeat, and you'll do all that damage in a heartbeat. Um, sneak attack is a basic attack that gets extra damage after you use a stealth ability. Uh, so far, Shadow Meld is the first stealth ability. And the only other stealth ability you're going to get is coming down here. Um, but you get that for 10 seconds after you use a stealth ability. And you can use this once every 3 seconds. So you can kind of keep that rolling if you wanted to. Uh, dive Bomb, an interesting ability here, uh, which is actually flagged as a teleport tying in over here. Very interesting that it ties in there. Um, but it will uh, teleport you over and do a nice big AoE, and it does bonus damage if you use it while you're stealth. So that ties in with Shadow Meld again, or Obscuring Brimstone. But it has a four second cooldown, so that's something to keep in mind. You won't be able to do this all the time. Uh, Acrobatic Escape is going to be your CC Breaker, it's on a 15 second cooldown. Uh, they're doing this because of PvP, uh, so be, feel free to spam them on their forums and complain about how they're messing with PvE because of PvP. And then Obscuring uh, Brimstone, a very interesting ability um, on a 30 second cooldown. Uh, it gives you 5 seconds of invisibility again, just like the other stealth one, and gives you a huge dodge rating while you're stealth. I'm not sure why you'd get the dodge rating while you're stealth but it's interesting. Um, I have a feeling the dodge rating will hang in there if you break the stealth. And so uh, that would be an important factor, I would guess. And then finally, the Brimstone Blitz. Uh, at level 60, this is like massive amounts of damage. It's 50 hits to something, and you're invulnerable for 10 seconds. So basically, the duration of the 50 hits that happens, uh, you just go nuts on everything around you. That's pretty cool. And uh, that's Nightcrawler in a nutshell. His uh, uniques are well made and tie in very nicely for him. 
and will definitely make him. He's going to be gear based. He's going to be squishy to level. He won't really come into play until later. Uh, so don't expect anything awesome for him until higher levels. Uh, yet again, one of those characters. Other than that, that's it. So I hope it helps. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later when I get him to level 60 or maybe 50.